With high prices and high mortgage rates out there, buying a house can seem almost impossible for some. State leaders say they're trying to help out. Today, the governor highlighted new bills he signed into law aimed at getting more buyers into the market. But the question is, will they work? New specialist Daniel Woodruff has the story. Navigating Utah's housing market can feel stressful. I'm happy to be out of it. I'm glad to be done. Ann Stewart and her family just moved into this house in Lehigh. It was tricky with the interest rates and with the home prices at the same time. But she's thrilled to be here. The houses are newer, they'll last longer, there's not as many repairs. We talked about... Governor Spencer Cox wants to build 35,000 starter homes over five years. Today, he ceremonially signed into law several bills he says will make that happen. We're going to be giving money to help, uh, to help developers build more houses, more affordable houses. That's through a new temporary program, lending state money to developers at cheaper rates. Another bill streamlines the approval process for modular homes. These are beautiful homes. They're built to the highest standards. Bob Worsley of Zenny Home says they're also built cheaper and quicker in a factory. They're nothing like the uh, modular homes and trailer homes of the past. Yet another bill aims to help developers build infrastructure like roads and sewers faster. I think they move the needle. But housing analyst Dayan Eskic says don't expect big changes right away. It's going to take a minute for, for the market to adapt and for cities to figure out where, where to put new starter family zones and stuff like that. Others worry these bills are not enough. Real estate expert Andra Ghent at the University of Utah told KSL starter homes are a non-starter without statewide land use reform. That is changing the process for how developments are approved at the local level. We think we're good. But Governor Cox defends the new bills, saying they should incentivize cities. We think we'll see more of these new starter home zones moving into our, our cities. And, uh, and if not, we'll reevaluate next year. As for Anne, it's an exciting time for her family, settling into this new house and looking forward to the future. We could stay here for years. In Lehigh, Daniel Woodruff, KSL 5 News.